everyone and welcome to an incredibly exciting episode of Wolf Quest because we're getting attacked by stranger wolves. That's not why. <laughs> oh no, it's time to run. All right, uh, Aiden, Raven, let's go. Uh, there should be, aha, you might be able to see it on the compass, but there is something new in Wolf Quest and it's a very big new thing. It's not the bison either. <laughs> I don't think we've seen those with Aiden yet, but it is the much anticipated Slough Creek release. That's right, we are finally playing in it and we are finally ready for Aiden and Raven to be able to go and start their own family. So as we run for our lives here, we are going to bring them to the star. I don't know, is it on the map? You can see it's on the map there by the Lamar River. And uh, how close are we to getting out of Stranger Wolf territory? We're close. <laughs> so we just have to get them down there. Now, it's very easy to get to Slaw Creek once you are in the game. Uh, all you have to do is load it up. It'll make a snapshot with your wolves if it hasn't done so already. And that'll enable you to eventually... Um, to eat, load up into Slow Creek for the main menu, but uh, we first things first. I think we're gonna run there <laughs> normally and try to escape. Okay, I think the the wolf is leaving us alone finally. Uh, we're gonna run right on over to that star and jump right in because I know you guys are super excited. But as we get over there, I want to talk about a few things. So this is the first episode in a very special two part introduction to Slow Creek, and uh, we're gonna be trying to get to pups as soon as we can. So hopefully we'll get to see some pups by the end of this. This, uh, right after this episode airs, we'll actually be airing another one as a premiere, and hopefully we'll get to see pups in, in the uh, time here. And if you guys are watching this live, it doesn't stop there, because as soon as we're done with these premieres here on the JPlays channel on YouTube, we're actually going to be jumping over to Twitch and continuing on the live stream playthrough that uh, I've been doing on there. And so if you guys want to see even more Wolf Quest after we finish with Aiden Raven, make sure you stick around, and we'll be continuing on and playing wolf quest for hopefully quite so quite a bit of time today if we can we'll see how far we get and we'll be exploring the new update together in real time as well so lots of exciting events that will be happening today but i'm gonna let these two poor ravens getting a little tired i'm gonna let these guys run right over to the um the compass rose star, or the star, not the compass rose star, but the star, the star of the map, you know, the, the, the transport to Slough Creek, and, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll catch up with them when we get there, because they've got a bit left to run. <laughs> All right, it looks like the star is just on the other side of this river. We kind of, Raven is a little ways behind us, I think she was a little tired after uh, running from that, uh, running from that wolf pack, but I think we should be able to catch up soon. We just gotta run across here. I think she'll catch up to us automatically once we get there. That, or we may have to wait for her. But as soon as we're across the river here, I think we should be pretty close to just getting transported to Slough Creek. There we go! Go to Slough Creek! So, the meadows of Slough Creek lie just beyond Bison Peak. There you can establish a territory and begin your family pack. And uh, yes, in real life, they are just right over this mountain range. So, or the, these hills, I guess. So, yeah, this is, it's pretty accurate, the, the direction you go. I know we did an episode on that at one point where we looked at the real world in Google Maps. Uh, and so, let's go ahead and we'll let them cross over. And I will see you guys on the other side. And here we are. So we've got kind of a familiar sight. A wolf's life is about one thing, passing on its genes to the next generation. All else, from hunting elk to defending a territory, drives towards the single goal. You and your mate survive the hazards of the wilderness long enough to meet each other, form a bond, and survive the winter. Now you can try to realize this goal. With pups of your own, you and your mate will become the breeding pair, sometimes called alphas, of your pack. Their survival and the survival of your genetic code will be your responsibility. Even with all the dangers you face to reach this point, you're Real struggle has only just begun. And here we are. Oh, there's Raven. And once again, we have a rather familiar sight of Little Butte. <laughs> this has been the starting point for ages, and we are here once again to establish a territory. So, you and your mate are expecting pups. You must now carve out your own territory here in the hills and meadows of Slough Creek. Later, just before the pups are born in two months, you must find a good den within your territory. Other packs are also expecting puppies, so they are establishing and expanding their territories too. You need to make sure you claim enough space to create a safe buffer to protect your vulnerable pups from them. And we're gonna go ahead, we have a, um, a nice little uh, thing on how to claim territory. I'm not gonna read through this, uh, we'll kind of just 
uh, you can pause if you want to see it, but uh, this just kind of tells you how to uh, how to claim territory, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's have oops. I get kind of stuck on snowdrifts. <laughs> let's not let's not fall face first in the deep snow. Um, we're gonna go ahead and um, set out and see. So the world's a lot bigger if we look at our map. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in because if we go to about like this, this is about what the old map was. Th this is about what we're used to seeing. Something like this, and you can see just how much bigger this has gotten. I think I looked it up I, I, a long time ago I talked about this. I want to say it's something like 12 times the size of the old map. It's insane how huge this map is. And there are a bunch of different dens uh, and what it seems like one of the better ways to go about this, or at least how I tend to go about this, is to um, go ahead and try to kind of pick an area and I feel like Aiden would kind of gravitate towards this general area. So we're gonna we're gonna go here. If we show the pack territories too, there's kind of a nice little spot at no man's land. And I feel like we'll kind of settle in up in these mountains, in the in the in mountains and the hills up here. And um, we have to claim a strong territory and uncover different dens. And that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna have them run over here, and uh, I'll I'll kind of kind of catch up once we get there. I think. Um, cause it's gonna, gonna take us a few minutes to get over there. Oh, okay, so this works. So we can see here we've got a potential, uh, den nearby. Uh, you can actually see there's a little icon up on the compass on the left-hand side there that says den nearby. So if we start sniffing around, we may see it. I think we're just coming up on it, but somewhere around here... You'll see that icon will change as we get nearer or farther. I don't think we can see it yet because the scents are blowing this way. But somewhere around here, there is a den. You can see it's starting to glow a little bit more as we get closer. So there's some stranger wolves, some elk, some mule deer right up here. But I don't think I see the den just yet. Kind of want to keep a close eye out. It could be this way as well. So, uh, well, we're kind of getting past it. Nope, we want to go back to where we saw it glowing. You can kind of, oh, there is a den scent. Hello, hello, hello. So coyote den. This is the kind of den that it is. It is. is it up here? Is this where it is? We want to go and scent view and sniff around. Oh, I see another den scent coming from this way. So maybe it's a little bit further up this hill. Somewhere around here, hello. Oh. Aha! Here we go. So we found a potential den site. You can see, oops, if I can stop running long enough, you can see it glows a little bit. And you kind of just track down some various dens just like this. Raven, are you doing okay? She, she keeps getting left behind. <laughs> Poor Raven keeps getting left behind a little bit. Um, but you can see under this rock, oh, Raven, hello. We'll go ahead and we'll play bow. Um, and uh, I think these two are every bit as excited to be here as we are to see them. They certainly seem it. But right under this rock, oh, <laughs> that, that Aiden is now jumping over, uh, there is a potential den. And so we'll find a number of other den sites like this, I'm sure, throughout the Slaw Creek area. But uh, we're going to keep sniffing around. We're almost on the, on the map right here. We're heading up towards... We're kind of just at the bottom of this. So I'm going to head up to where it says McBride Creek on this. And we're, we're going to sniff around there. So this is one of the dens that we need to find. I think we need to find four, if I'm not mistaken, to be able to finish off the quest. Uh, that part of the quest. So I'm going to keep heading on and uh, we will see when we get there. So we're kind of in the area that I'm oh, right right as we get here to another den nearby. We're kind of right in the area of this. We're going to want to claim a kind of large area. If we look at, we can look at our quests here, and you can see we need 15 hexes. We found one of four den sites, and we need our, our territory to be strong. So when we look at the map, you can see we're going to need quite a bit of room. If We're, we're going to have quite a large area claimed, probably, to be able to protect our territory and protect our pups. So we're, we'll probably start claiming around in this area. Area, and we'll also go and try to track down. There's another den here that we may want to use. So let's see if we can find that. I don't smell it yet, but let's keep heading this way. Aha! And here we go. We've got... Is this a coyote den? This is a potential tent den. What kind of den is this? What, what kind of den are you? A 
coyote den. There we go. I was like, keeps telling me it's a coyote, but it's a coyote den. That makes sense. So we've got kind of a den that's out in the open as well. And now what we want to start doing is we want to start claiming some territory. So let's actually put a scent post in here the den. We can go ahead and if you pee on things twice like this, you can see that marked the territory. But you can see here that put a scent post. If we go into scent view, we can see right here that uh, there is a scent, uh, scent post right there. And this now we have 60% uh, on our uh, first hex here. And actually, this den is right at kind of the junction of three de uh, three hexes, looks like. So that's something that's good to keep in mind. And um, we want to just keep marking like that. Uh, you can also see, too, that uh, this hex is pretty strong. So anything above 50% is considered strong. Anything below 50% is usually when you want to start marking it. So we need to get uh, 15 strong hexes. And I'm kind of going to just run around this area and start doing that. We'll make sure we mark some of this. It's probably going to take a few in-game days to do it, and um, I'm probably going to kind of clip through some of that. Well, I'll, I'll show you a, lo a fair amount of the marking, but uh, I want to show you guys some of the pups too, and there's a lot to cover, so we may move kind of fast and uh, let our Wayfinders pack uh, blaze, some, blaze some trails here and, and cover some ground. We are playing on challenging, by the way, and also I should mention Aiden has neutral stats. If we go to our pack info here, you can see he's got a zero and everything, so he's not plus or minus. He's kind of just your baseline wolf, and I feel like that's fitting for our Wayfinders pack. We're going to kind of keep them a little bit neutral, a little, little bit less of a focus on challenges like some of our other packs have. And uh, I feel like that's pretty fitting for them because they're kind of just the ones who their whole special thing is being able to blaze a trail and uh, to kind of pave the way for uh, the other packs. So that's our first three hexes claimed. I'm going to run around and do a little bit more claiming and uh, catch up with you guys probably at the end of the day. Hello? Oh, it's just some sort of... Some, some sort of prey animal. Oh, we got another den nearby. Let's see if we can try to track that down. So the wind, oh, wait, never mind. I think I see it. <laughs> I think I see some of the scents. So usually I set out to kind of pick a general area I want to hang out in first. And then from there, and there's a wolf carcass somewhere too by the looks of it. Um, but then from there, it's usually not too hard to track down some different dens and kind of, oh, this is actually a totally different one. Sometimes that happens too, so we'll have to go back because we have run a little ways away from the den we were actually going to, and I bet it's in these rocks. That looks like a den site if I've ever seen one. Aha! I think it is! Yep, 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 we've got- what kind of a den is this? Let's- let's go back and sniff. We've got- it's an also coyote den. <laughs> I think there are different types. Um, but all of these have been coyotes apparently. So let's, uh, let's go back though because I saw there was another den over here. And this one's a little closer towards the center of where we're kind of wanting our territory to be. You know, I really love this new system. I, I, we're kind of going fast through it right now. And part of the reason is I want to give you guys plenty of time to discover this on your own too. I don't want to, uh, spoil too much. I want to give you guys the chance to find some, out some secrets for yourselves. There's another den sign. Um, but I really, really love the way they did the system here because it very much lends itself to a natural flow rather than the old game where you kind of just, like, it kind of just told you what to do. It gave you your assigned piece of the pie, which worked for what it was. But I love how much more naturalistic this is because this kind of lets you pick a point on the map and then slowly home in on where exactly you want it to be and kind of make your home there. And it's, it's really cool to be able to actually properly carve out your own piece of a territory. It's just, I, I love the new system so much. And as we play through now, as we continue to play through, we're really going to get to see more of that in action. Aha! Is this where we're supposed to be going? Or is this... Aha, right here. So another coyote den, kind of out in the open. There we go. Um, and that's, a, I think, our fourth den found, actually. 
Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted quests. We have, so we'll probably find even more as we continue to claim. But I'm gonna keep working on that, and we'll catch up in, in a little bit here. Oh, we got another den. We're also starting to get towards the end of the first day, and this is a new territory hex that we'll want to claim. Um, so we'll probably go ahead and sleep in a little bit. We can go. We can go a little further and claim a little bit more. Find a few more dens. But I do want to try and uh, make sure we rest up because, well, actually, we might want to hunt too. Might want to do that somewhere in here. This is mule deer. Let's see if we can find this den and then maybe, or maybe in the reverse order, we've got some mule deer. All right, let's give these guys some hunting practice. It's been a good bit since they've actually gotten to do a hunt together. Come on, Raven, don't let don't let Aiden do all the work. All right, let's see if we can catch up. We'll, we'll see if we can do a really quick takedown here. Oh, there we go. Raven's getting in on it and getting some good bites in herself. These guys are pretty efficient. These They've they've been around the block. They spend a good amount of time in Amethyst Mountain trying to uh, take down different types of prey. They're, they're pretty good at what they do. I don't think this is going to pose them too much of a problem. We'll have to have to see because that's a valuable skill to have when you're hey will you stop <laughs> it's a valuable skill to have when you're going to be having to feed hungry pups for sure but we do want to make sure that they don't starve when it's just them either so we definitely want to uh, give them the chance to eat and then we'll go try and track down that den i think and then it'll probably be about time to sleep and we'll have to see what happens overnight because if rival packs are going to come in and claim stuff, it's <laughs> perfect time to do it while uh, its owner is asleep. So we'll have to see what happens. Somewhere around here, is it? Th oh, it's right here. <laughs> Literally standing next to it. And this one's a fox den, so yeah, there are different types of dens. Um, let's go ahead and we'll try and claim one more little area here. We can, we can claim this next little piece over here. And then we'll try to sleep through the night and we'll see what the rival packs do. Um, the first day is not always as difficult, but, hello? Oh, there's Moose. I was like, what is this music that I hear? Uh, the first day is usually a little bit more chill, but after that you kind of start, uh, having to clash with rival packs, and although that's nothing new for Aiden and Raven, who kind of liked to terrorize the rival packs a little bit back on Amethyst Mountain, there's another den somewhere. Let's... Let's find it. Let's find it. We got a little bit of energy left. <laughs> they they did like to mess with the uh, the the rival packs on Amethyst Mountain for sure, but um, here it's got a little bit more seriousness to it, a little bit extra weight to it. Ooh, now this is a cool den. Oh, I'm vibing with this den. All right, I'm vibing with this den very much so. Uh, we may want to we may want to kind of base our claim around this because I actually really like this area. It's got a very open sort of area. It's already kind of towards the center of our well, not really. It's a little bit north, it, but it's towards it's definitely towards an area that we could claim as the center. So I think we'll and it's very close to another den too. So and that can be important later on. <laughs> um, we'll kind of go ahead and uh, claim that one. I think. Oh, and what kind of den is it? I, I always like to see what kind of den it is. Right, where is it? It's right. I have lost it already. What kind of den is this? Whose den is this? Whose was this before it was mine? Coyote den. All right, we can take a coyote den. Oh, we've got another den. All right, we're finding this one after we sleep. Oh. Hello? Hello? That's not ominous at all. Kind of looks like Aiden a little bit, too. Huh. This is fine, I'm sure. Or even doesn't seem to be too bothered by it. Right here. Another den, right there. Alright, and this is a... If it releases any more scent spores. Hello? Coyote den again. Everything's a coyote den around here, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead, we'll put in a scent post. And then we will sleep through the night and see where things stand in the morning. Alrighty, it is morning again. We are full on sleep bar. Let's go ahead. We will say good morning to Raven and then we will take a look at our map. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That did not take long. Oh my goodness. So I think that looks like the neighboring packs have kind of been having at it to me, especially these 20s. Dang. <laughs> Alright, so if we're going for this den, we probably want to claim these ones 
on the edge. But we wanna make sure we kinda claim this hole, everything in this whole area here, a little bit further out even. So that's what we're gonna be working on. I'm going to go ahead and start claiming again and uh, we'll see if anything happens, but otherwise I'm just gonna kinda leave Aiden and Raven to it and see how far they get over this next day here. We'll come back and check in with them again soon. There's an elk herd over here and another den somewhere really close nearby. Are these elk just standing on top of it, possibly? Hello? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, green prospect peak territory seem to be our territory. Aha, I see den sense. It looks like... I saw it coming from right over here. Didn't I? Hello? Oh, it's right here. Oh, they literally were standing right on top of the den. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, there's a den down here. Somewhere around here. Let's see if we can find it. We gotta kind of claim this area, too. Let's see if we can find that one. It's a little bit out of our range. A little bit farther than uh, where I'd like to go. Oh, we still haven't claimed it. <laughs> but, uh... Find it just so that we know where it is. I mean, that's what the Wayfinders Pack is all about, ain't it? It's about finding things. Aha, I see it. And another den found. This is actually a Junction Butte Pack territory. Uh, we've got another den near here, and we've got a scent post as well, but this is a pretty beefy territory hex. It's a 62. I'm guessing the pack is in the one next to it, but they might, uh, might come for us if we're not careful. Somewhere around here, though, there is another den as well. Is it up here? Oh, hello, they're right here. Who is this? Who are you? Who are you? Hey, get out of here. You came alone, that was your mistake. Junction Butte 3F. You're gonna get your tail handed to you if you stick around. This is not a fight you're gonna win. Aiden and Raven are definitely some of our more experienced fighters. And they're, they're not known for messing around. So you'd better run. Get off our turf, this is our land now. And somewhere around here, there is a den, perfect. I wonder if that's what brought that stranger wolf there, if, if she was investigating uh, the den here. Oh, it looks like she actually just came from the scent post, but maybe she was um, investigating the den area too. Alright, let's go ahead and we will uh, just get rid of this. You can get rid of stranger wolf scent post by peeing on him. <laughs> and to add insult to injury, we'll put our own here. Was that her who was lurking around this way? I thought that was Raven, but then I saw Raven was right next to me. I think she might have left though. So we'll add insult to injury and uh, just let let her know that you, this is our land now. Now that's a den with a view. Look at that. That's a pretty cool den. Oh, there's another den right here. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, end off here for today. If we look at our map, you can see we've claimed quite a bit of territory. We're probably gonna let these two ones fade, but everything else is pretty strong except for this little area. So we'll go through and mark that in the next day. As you can see, Aiden's getting a little bit tired and assuming that the stranger wolves don't wreak havoc on the rest of our territory in that time, we'll be ready to go ahead and we'll get to hopefully meet our pups quite soon. But for now, we are going to end off here. Now, if you're watching this live, if you're watching this as it premieres on YouTube, don't go anywhere. The next episode will be starting in just a minute. If you're watching this not live, not during the premiere, then the next episode's already up. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. You can find a link to that on the end card, uh, either a link to the video, or I think probably a link to the playlist, actually. And uh, once again, if you are watching this as it premieres on YouTube, make sure you stay tuned after the second episode, too, because we'll be hopping right over to Twitch and uh, jumping in with uh, a live playthrough. Oh, Raven! <laughs> Are you cold? Oh, she's cold. She wanted to snuggle. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's great. <laughs> um, 
yeah, if you are watching this as it premieres, then uh, make sure you go ahead and uh, follow us on over to Twitch, because we'll be continuing on into a live playthrough with one of our other wolves to continue checking out Slough Creek. But for now, we are going to go ahead and end off the episode here for today, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.